Wow, 10 Monaco Vulcan 1 system tests already? Well, here it is, Monaco Vulcan 1 system test 10. Now, there were a few things I considered while thinking of ideas for this very special system test. And the following video is what I came up with. So, what do we have for devices? On zone 1, we have a notifier BNG1. Really nothing special here. You saw it in system test 5. And what do we have for devices? Notification devices. Well, right before we get to the notification devices, you can see one of them already, we have a system sensor MDL. This is a sync module and we'll be controlling two system sensor devices today. Now the first one we have is a system sensor P1224MC. You saw this in Monaco Vulcan 1 system test 1. And we have a P2R from system sensor Oh, which you saw in system test 8. Now, despite the fact these are obviously two different devices, they're, they are from the same manufacturer, and they're in the Spectre Alert line, even though this one is the more advanced version, technically, as it has the Monkey or Advanced at the end. But despite that, it could be synced using the same sync module, which is really awesome. So, without further ado, let's pull it. Three, two... One. Yes, I know that there is tape on the devices. I'm not really concerned about volume this time around. I'm just concerned to see that they sync. So, let's reset the pole station, stick our notifier key in there, and we can reset it. Let's hit the drill switch, well, test switch. As you can see there, when it does like four blasts, they're syncing up to each other, which is pretty cool. So I have a little bit of a treat here. I decided to remove the jumper wire between the horn input and the zone one input. On your typical four wire panel, you would have the horn output, whatever NAC is controlling the horns. You would have it go into this input here. And then I think the strobes would just go into this input here. However, this is just a basic two-wire panel. Uh, they uh, go off anyways when you hit the silence button. Both of them just shut off. So there's really no point in trying to wire it uh, four-wire in this case. So basically what, that there's no power going to the horn input, what happens is the horns don't sound. I mean, they will sound once before going to just strobe only mode. So, Let's see how that works. As you can see, they're both in sync right now, believe it or not. And you can kind of hear the capacitors going. They sound a little different, this one more so, on FWR. Now, if you're going to do something like this, just be careful that, that the uh, wire there doesn't touch anywhere else, or else you'll obviously damage the panel. I know what I'm doing. I, can, I feel like I can control it enough, so something like that doesn't happen. So, that is just something to keep in mind. Like I said, you know, I know what I'm doing. And there's that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 10. Here's to 10 more. Anyways, that'll be it.